Good afternoon, it is day 382 from here to Jerusalem, walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Um, yeah, so yesterday evening I arrived in Chanakala. I'm in Asia now and uh, in the harbour, like it was already late, it was a long day walking, uh, it was raining. <laughs> very very uh very irish i was welcomed in asia with rain and uh my side bag the hole was so big there was onions sticking out so the idea was initially to walk uh, to my host but it became more than 30 kilometers that way. My feet were really sore. I think it was from walking on tarmac all day. Uh, and because they have small children, I decided to get on a bus. So I went to the bus station. I went to the bus stop to find a bus. And, <laughs> and this man goes like, are you German? And I said, no, I'm not German. He says, where are you going? And I said, this is, I have it here on the phone, that's where I'm going. I'm looking for the 11, the C11. And he goes, oh, I'll help you. And we get, the bus comes and he's jumping up and down. He goes, get in, get in, get in now. And he's jumping up and down and he's shouting at the driver and he's going like, bring this woman to where she needs to be. And he says to the guy, pay for her, pay for her, don't make her pay. <laughs> this bus driver is going like, we don't even know where she's going. <sighs> so they told him where I was going. Uh, and he drops me off like about two kilometers from where I have to be. But uh, the bus was really full. There were so many people on it. I was glad to be out of there. So today I am now heading from where I am back into the harbour. I'll take a bus back out. So my bag is gone. I can try and fix it, but I'm not really good at any of that. So I'm gonna just try and get a new side bag. My clothes are being washed. The family is really nice. They are um, originally from Pakistan. He is a, he is a designer uh, online mainly for English and American companies and he uh, he uh, yeah his, they came over during the pandemic and they decided to stay here because life is good he goes like life is really good uh, <laughs> and we were having like jokes about like he wanted to visit Bulgaria to see to see some things there and they refused him the visa because he had no relatives there and he said, because he's a freelancer, he said, they kind of went like, yeah, well, you're going to stay. And he said, I don't want to stay in Bulgaria. 
I don't want to be in Europe. It's way too expensive. I like living in Turkey. But they, they won't even let me visit Europe. Do I want to stay there then? No, thank you. Nah. He said, life here is really, really, really good. People are really kind, really nice. Uh, they made lovely food. They have this, like, this little, like, this little, little boy from a year and a half. And he is full on, like, he is climbing and running and walking. And he is in everything. He is just wonderful. And the daughter is called... Anya, but spelled differently. So I stayed in Anya's room. Look at this. How bad, right? So yeah, we're. Uh, I'm. Uh, I was very, very happy. Anya showed me how to make a little hat from some carton and uh, and thread. And here are lovely, here's a lovely dog going in. And yeah, we're uh, happy clappy. It was really lovely. I slept really, really well. I went to bed pretty early. Asia is a good start. It's a good start. And then this morning we had breakfast. I was given fried eggs, cheese and bread. And, and I was saying like, is there anything I can do for you guys? No. Rest. <laughs> Your feet must be hurting. And he's going... Adil is going... Here. Your feet... Your feet must be... You know, surely you're not walking everything. And I said, no. I've walked everything. I've walked all of it. And tomorrow I'm going to walk from the... From the <laughs> from the harbor back into town. Now across here there is the uh, f another fortress. I don't know. I might I might try and go and see something today, uh, but I'm not entirely sure because I am really tired. I am really tired. Like it is 382 days. Uh, with a good bit of bad news here and there. We went for coffee this morning in this park. And uh, look there, this is like really great. You get to uh, do your workouts. I've seen all, I've seen a lot of those workout places around here. I don't have them. They don't see them used. They've got cycling tracks here. I'm very excited about that now. It's always good to see cycling tracks. Uh, and uh, they went like, no, you come and play music. And I said, maybe these people don't want anybody to play music. No, 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 it'll be fine. And it was, it was fine. <laughs> it gave us chocolate cake uh, for music. I'm always up for chocolate cake. Ah. Life is good, like, life is really good. I feel very grateful. You know, St. James, open heart, open mind. If it is important, open the road before me and I will follow it. What's also really interesting is that the, the conversations change. Here, people know nothing about Christianity. So I've, you know, the, this, I'm walking with a harp to Jerusalem as a pilgrimage some people understand, you know, I, I got waved at a good bit by the traffic that was there yesterday. Uh, but people don't, 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 they don't know. They don't know, they don't know the difference between Catholicism and Protestantism. They don't know what it means. It, it's meaningless. The whole thing is meaningless to them. You know, uh, they listen to Azan and they go like, that is where, you know, that is where God speaks. That is the call to prayer. Uh, church bells? That's just bizarre. <laughs> so those conversations are really interesting. And yeah, I just keep saying, you know, the road, 
we're all looking for the same thing, but the road there is different for everybody. It's informed by culture and background, where you're from, you know, how you were raised. God loves all his children. And we all want the same thing, which is, you know, education for our children, a life without struggle. That would be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go do this bit. Oh, you can't deny that this is just stunning. That's Europe. Europe is over there. I'm not there anymore. I'm here now. <laughs> oh. Now we have to conquer about another 2,000 kilometers here. Uh, we're talking about the, about the end of the route here. Adil was saying the same thing as what I've been saying. If there's people living there, you can go there. So, I have to just keep looking at it and decide as I go. Can I go through there? I think I can. Okay. And there is wind. Çanakkale is the windy city of Turkey. And windy it is. Here we go, here we go. See you later. Okay, I went to the harbor. Uh, it's like crazy, crazy, because it's four days before the elections. And I don't know which party, but there is like uh, a gathering and there's lots of police and lots of whatever. So that's me done. I, am, I can go look for my uh, bag now. It's just crazy, like the music, the shouting. Ah, I don't know, it's not my thing. I like peace and quiet to be honest. So, uh, what was I gonna say? I can't think right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go look for a new side bag, I suppose. Uh, if I know where to start, I might go sit down somewhere, have a cup of tea, and uh, take it from there. <laughs> I need coffee or something after that. Oh my god! Like, and they're all like. There's checks and there's drones and there's... Uh, it's what it is. Okay, this is like... And I remember now, 20 years ago, when um, Type Erdogan came to power, I was here with uh, Stella Bra. Same thing, like, it was crazy. There were protests in Istanbul. It was like, what they call Kalabala. Yeah, it was, it was just insane. And here we are again, this time in Chanakala, uh, you know,
everybody happy, everybody doing their thing. I'm gonna go for coffee. There you go.